they are like i live with them and they like especially my mother is like she's very vulnerable last two years she's been with nurses so i said <laughs> i don't know it just gets what are you thinking <laughs> i don't know just trying to concentrate on think... the camera and see that he gets my focus after how long are you doing this photo shoot oh photo shoot i do at home hmm. but uh, i do it with my hair that i've bought which i think is my hair so what happened tell me the story of <laughs> i called you up uh, for this role in the yeah signature. it's it's uncanny you called me at a time when i'm just getting my infusion and the nurses are standing on me hmm. and i know you're in the usa so when i see it go on a phone care usa number it's like he's calling me because it's urgent mm -hmm. you know because we don't call and chat hey hey what's happening that yeah. so i said let me answer this so i take it and um, you start saying that you know i want you to do a film and i say you know uh, i would love to do but can you wait and you say no 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 i can't wait why do you want me to wait and why is there so much noise in your house and i said i couldn't lie because all the nurses were around me so i said i'm not at home where are you so i'm like I'm That's not the way I talk. <laughs> you talk. Huh? Uh, I was nice to you. So no, <laughs> surprisingly, ever since I lost my hair, I was getting a lot of calls for, you know, like web series and this and that. And I was like, God, why am I getting calls now when I don't even have hair? So, so, what so I didn't tell them. Okay, so you. But with you, I just can't like not tell you that I don't want to do your film. So. Oh. I said okay, and you started rattling off the role, and he's like, "This is you like this, and you like this, and then you have to pay this." And I was like, "Okay, are you going to do it?" And I was like, "Yeah, but no, but are you going to do it?" So I was like, "Okay, but I need to talk to you." Mm. So then I spoke to you in the night, and I told you that, "Is it okay if I come to the sets with a wig?" And mm. you said, "Why would you come with a wig?" And I said that I've lost my hair; I've just gone through treatment. <laughs> I don't know it just gets emotional. That's okay. I think you're the most courageous person. I just want to thank you for being okay with it because I thought I should tell you that I'll be wearing a wig and then you said why even a wig? Why can't you just do the film just as the way you are? And I said I don't know if I have the courage and you said I think you do. <laughs> So I just think it's so nice. When did you too. discover that you have breast cancer? Uh, no, my breast cancer. I didn't have any symptoms. I do a, you know, like a yearly test for myself where I do my sonography and blood tests. You know the yearly checkups. It was an annual checkup where my person who was doing my sonography said, "I think you should go and get this checked with." Uh, Dr. Mandar, who's mm. an oncologist, and I know about him. Mm. So the minute I heard that, luckily I had a friend with me. I never take anyone with me when I do all these yearly checkups. And so I went and met Dr. Mandar, and he said, uh, "We'll do a biopsy, but it doesn't look anything. Mm. These are cells which are pre-cancer cells. It's mm. called DCIS, and sometimes they become cancer, sometimes they don't become cancer." So it's up to you do you want to remove them and I said no 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 I'm like take it out take it out so we did a biopsy and it didn't come cancer mm. it was negative but I still wanted to take it out so when we took it out and they did a biopsy of the entire cells that were removed and tissues they found tiny cells like a tiny portion of cells that had already become cancer mm. and so he said that when you were in this uh, surgery we put a port mm. so i still have the port here mm -hmm. you know this raised bit and then you mm -hmm. have these veins which are going in so they said we have to give you chemo and then i started crying and then my sister was like it's treatable doctors mm. saying it's 100% treatable mm. you know these are very very early cancers and mm. that's the one thing that you know if you catch it early cancer is treatable and my sister was like why are you behaving like a 17th century woman why are you crying i mean the doctors like good news and you're crying mm. but i think we're just so terrified of the word cancer mm. which is why i i didn't share it with my parents because they're so wonderful they are like i live with them and they're like 
especially my mother is like she's very vulnerable last two years she's been with nurses so I said I just went and told her mommy I have a lump in my breast so I had it removed that's why I didn't see you for 10 days and her blood pressure just went up and down and she had she was passing out and then by the evening we had to take her to the hospital so what what do you feel now you shot for two days for the I, I feel so good yeah uh, yeah so is that what do you want to tell women who who discover suddenly because i think i learned from the women huh. i learned from a lot of women who were coming to chemo and they were like Oh, I'm going to work straight from here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to work? Doesn't your company give you an off during time? They said, no, no, they gave us off. It's completely paid for and all. Mm -hmm. But I don't like to sit at home. I like to work when I'm doing this. It just makes me feel normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like the, not the very brave one. I was like, everyone in my family was brave, like my friends and my sister and my brother. And I was like all the time weeping and crying till I met a little boy. I heard his voice. And uh, he gave me strength and I just looked at him and during my half chemo, I meant just to make conversation with him and I said, Are, aapki dawai bas itni hai, meri to itni sari hai. Isi se to theek hote hai. He said that. Haan. He was also getting treated Haan. for it. Oh. Hmm. Isi se to theek hote hai. To I said, haa, lekin fir na me, you know, like, bhoat din tak aise hi leti rehti hoon, meko bhoat takleef hoti hai. To he says, mein bhi, mein paanch din leta hoon bas. Uske baad to mein khelta hoon, uske baad to, you know, like, I'm fine, I'm back to myself. So I was like, wow. So what I want to tell you is that you are my hero. So, she is my hero. And she is fantastic. She is the best thing. He actually said, when I said, I don't know if I'll suit, you know, being on the sets like this. He says, you know, we don't have real life heroes and that's what we're looking for. And... You are one of them. So thank you. He's been so supportive. Oh my God. Thank you so much. No, so much. That, 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 all those people who are listening to yeah. this Mahima Chaudhary. She is the best thing. And she's superb. You need more people like this. Because no matter how many people you have holding your hand. It's not enough during times like this. So yeah. I, I am so grateful to so him. So all of you out. people now have to pray. She's a fine. She's fine by the way. Yeah I'm fine. I'm yes. totally recovered. Yes. So, and I'm doing well. Thank you. Lots of love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cut.